what's up everybody welcome to a, another session of Tony Talks right here on YouTube please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and I am Tony215 please do not forget to um, follow me <laughs> on Instagram Facebook sometimes Tumblr uh, at I am Tony215 um, Um, <clears throat> today is Saturday, it's June 1st, it's 2019, and I am <clears throat> um, in Bermuda, St. George's, and uh, I'm sitting out here, <clears throat> I'm sitting out here in my favorite place. Uh, on this cliff it's right in the backyard where I'm staying and uh, you know when I'm in one of my water moments and you know if you're a water nature person you probably experience when you like I don't know you get kind of melancholy a little bit um, you start like, like getting in your feelings Start feeling some type of way about something. <laughs> um, usually for me, it's um, where I am in life. You know, usually that's the one thing that just puts me in that water moment. You know, in that water mood. And I hate getting in that water mood because I'm just swimming in one place. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not doing anything. I'm not making any progress. I'm just sitting there making myself feel worse and worse and worse. Because then I start piling on all the other things that are wrong in my life or that I feel they're wrong. And um, <clears throat> man, I just I hate it. So today is one of those those water days, you know, where I'm in my feelings and I'm feeling some type, some type of way about life and um, so I decided to turn on a camera and do a video <laughs> it's not really about anything it's just me expressing myself on a water day you know but uh, I guess the thing that really bothers me is um, I'm just not where I want to be in life but you know I asked myself the question like where is that you know what is that what does that look like and it's funny because uh, when I started thinking back to a time when I thought life was better because I had money and I had a, you know, a career and, uh, you know, I had houses, I had cars, <laughs> but then I have to ask myself the question, was I happy then? And no, I wasn't. I was miserable, you know, because all of those things cost money. And you know, you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard, hard, especially today. You gotta work real hard to have something, you know? And it's like, I look at myself now and I don't have the career. I don't have the money. I don't have the cars. I don't have the houses. I'm just living off of being blessed which is scary <laughs> it's scary because you know you really don't know what's gonna happen next you just have to hope and pray you know that you're gonna make it to the next day sometimes but um, so far so good so far so good but you know I look at myself now and I say well am I happy 
And the truth is, I'm happier, you know, internally, which, you know, means more honestly than the external it does. I'm, I'm, I'm happier internally. You know, I have found resolve in my life. Um, I have found resolve and forgiveness for my parents. And, uh, you know, I'm just at a, I'm in a really good place emotionally, you know. But, you know, we live in this world and this world says that you have to have, you know, a car. You have to have a house. You have to have this and that and that and this. Uh, by the time you're this age or, or before you die or you know we, we equate to being somebody in this world and doing great things we you know associate it with tangible things you know and it's that kind of led me to another question you know all the fighting that I used to do you know, to go to work, work ungodly amount of hours, be miserable, feel like a slave at work, you know, feel like a slave to the company because they're, you know, taking so much of your time that you don't really have time for yourself and, and to pursue your own dreams. And, uh, I, you know, I, I ask myself, you know, all that fighting that I did for that and all the fighting that I do on a daily basis to you know recapture these things that I've lost in life like at the end of the day is it really worth it because I can't take it with me you know if I fell off this cliff today and fell into this water which we don't want that to happen as bad as I feel. We don't want that to happen. But, uh, you know, if, I, if that were to happen, everything that I have, you know, and hypothetically, you know, house, car, land, money in the bank, I can't take it with me. You know, it's like, is it worth it? <laughs> You know, I, 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 I've fought, you know, my whole life to be somebody, to, to do something great in the world with my life. And yet, you know, <laughs> I feel like bad and I feel sad because I look around and I feel like I'm being left behind and, you know, I see everybody living you know, this, you know, the life that you once lived or the life that you wanted to live, you see everybody doing all these, you know, things and you feel, you know, like alone, but you have to ask yourself the question, like all those things, you know, you have to pay a price for and you know, you pay you the price by being a, a slave to these jobs. You know, you pay a price by dedicating so much of your life, so much of your time to these companies that, you know, want to pay you peanuts, but they want your soul. They want you, they want you to act a certain way, walk a certain way, talk a certain way. And I don't like that. I, I don't. I don't like that. You know. But like, all that is it worth? All the energy and the effort that I've been putting forth. Because at the end of the day, I can't take it with me. You know, people say, "Oh, well, you know, you can take the the memories." I don't know that. <laughs> I truly don't know, you know, when this program is over, when this simulation is done and, you know, I step onto the other side, I truly don't know what's there, you know, 
I don't know what it's gonna be like. You know, this whole entire thing could start all over again. And, you know, I'm born, you know, again, through my bloodline. And, and uh, you know, here I am in a female body. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I think sometimes that's the case, you know, when you have uh, people that feel like they're, that they are in the incorrect body and they spend so much of their livelihood, you know, trying to change it, trying to fix it. I really do think that, you know, that's a memory from your past life. And, you, you know, now you're born again and uh, you're remembering, you know, a, a piece of your past life. And that's why it's bothering you so much because it's like, well, shit, I used to be when I was, I'm a boy. Like, why, why am I, why am I in a girl's body or I'm a girl? Like, why am I in a, a boy's body? And, you, and they, you know, in the present day, they're trying to correct it, you know, by getting all this plastic surgery. But anyways, <laughs> um, I feel a little better. I feel a little better, you know. But, you know, the question is, like, all these things that we fight for in life, you know, all the time that we spend, you know, uh, going after these things, like, is the effort, is the energy worth it? You know, like, what defines you? What defines your life as being successful? As being someone that was born and did something with their life, you know? And in doing so, does it mean doing more than just going to work, but actually uh, contributing something to mankind? You know, contributing a piece of you to the betterment of others. You know, does that define success? Because I guess maybe that's where I'm at. Is I have to define what success is. You know, is success truly a house, a car, nice clothes, being able to travel and see the world? Is that success or is success just being a old country boy out in the field cutting grass, you know, or is success just being simple and, you know, just <laughs> living your life as free as you possibly can, you know, without working as many hours, without, you know, having to uh, sell your soul to the company you know you just go in you do your job and you go home you know is that success you live peacefully you live in peace you don't live in fear and you're happy internally you know is that simple life is it success you know turn on I guess I want to know what you guys think um, this definitely uh, was not scheduled because I really didn't know what I was going to talk about. But, um, you know, like I said, I was feeling some type of way. One of my water moments. And usually, um, this is how I debate things in my head. You know, I'm always asking a question to ask another question to ask another question. And always testing this and testing that. You know, so it's like, <laughs> I was like today, you know, I'm thinking, you know, my life is in reverse than what it was, you know, about 20 or maybe 15, maybe 10 years ago. My life is in a complete reverse. And <laughs> it's like, okay, well, when you had it that way before, you were miserable. Well, now you're not miserable, but miserable. You know, like I'm happy internally, but I'm miserable externally. And before I was happy 
uh, externally, but miserable internally. And, you know, I, I pray, Lord, you know, change this, Lord, fix this, Lord, give me freedom, <laughs> you know, let me be free to, you know, do what I want to do to express myself, da 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 and so, <laughs> the Lord actually listens <laughs> and does it, and, you know, you don't have all the external things that you had before, now you have none, but you have the internal uh, things that you wanted that you didn't have before. It's like <laughs> you can't win to lose. <laughs> you can't win to lose. You know, it's just like Tony. Are you are you gonna be happy about either one of them? You know, which one do you prefer? <laughs> you know, because I'm starting to see that in this life. You just can't get everything you want. You know, like, truly, <laughs> nothing is perfect. <laughs> because it's like, okay, well, you got all these things, now you're going to be miserable about something else. <sighs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't even have the answers I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> Maybe it's a water thing. <laughs> Maybe it's, you know, me being in my water moment. I don't know. Um, but this is usually, like, what's going on in my, <laughs> in my head, really. Uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think about what I said today. <laughs> Leave a comment. Um, because, um, yeah. <laughs> But at least I feel better. Uh, but until then, people, I got to go. Um, I do love you. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for listening um, to <laughs> Tony Talks Ranting Raves. <laughs> um, but until then, people, um, peace.